Hey pedals. Nope. Meanwhile. So guys, this is the video that you just tutorial. A few moments later. You can see that though in the dark look. You can wait. No. Madonna. <laughs> It's me. Hi guys. Welcome to doing what you can with what you have, darling. I will be doing the eyeshadow um, portion. I think I'm the first one to start this off. Mm. So much pressure, oh my God. But it's do this. So we'll be going in with our Shadow God first eyeshadow primer and draw guys. <laughs> Things have been good. Um, this is the actually the first ever video that we we're posting on this channel. We did um, a promo video yesterday, shot it and um, posted it, and we want to write this out and see where um, it takes us, Rose Beautiful Life. So we're going to blend. Remember to blend, but don't blend in. Uh, so my master son James Charles. So we'll Blend, 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 blend. And then we'll be going in with our um, baking powder from Colors Cosmetics. I bought it at Fishing. It's like 50 brown. So it's like being beautiful with an affordable bunch of, you know. And just um, put it here and just blend, 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 blend. That's how we do it. And now we will be taking our sister special. James Charles Palette! <laughs> oh my god, and we'll be dipping in to um, Playground. Just, you know, and swipe off the excess. So guys, this look is like, um, going to see your man. Well, I don't have a man, so I cannot relate. But you know, going to the grocery store, buying some bread, and just looking, Pretty and cunty. She is feeling fish tonight. So we were going to apply this on our inner corner. I don't have a fluffy brush, but we will be blending this out and just drag, drag that bitch. Drag that bitch as if you were ridding her to filth. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah. So you will be seeing a lot of special people in this video, people that we're close to, people that we admire, um, people that um, we've had this makeup journey with, people that we love, you know? So do tune in until the end. And well, it's when they just drag this bitch. And that's just how we do it, do it, do it. And then we'll be coming in with our second color, which is cola. This motherfucker right here. Dab, 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 and then just and this and then this color you will be applying it to um your outer corner. And this is what I actually like to do. I like to draw this line like this so that I can see where my eyeshadow will end. And uh, I just um, blend it out. And guys, don't be coming for me in the comment section about, you're supposed to use this brush, you're supposed to do this, bitch. I ain't no makeup guru. So come on, cola. After you're done blending that out, it's not quite well blended yet, but we will come back and um, continue. But I am loving the way that this is. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. So we will be using our I'm in Noble Concealer. It's so crusty and dirty. 
but we will be coming in with their brightest shade which is right here oh my god look at this palette and you will be taking our concealer brush and just zipping in just um zip in you know a little bit of a concealer moment and i'm going to use this to cut our crease so we will be coming in from here and what i like to do i'm not sure if you can see this guy is i like to just add line a bit like You, you see, outline a bit and just stamp it. Just stamp it. You want to stamp it so that you can actually look gorgeous. Don't mind my mirror. Oh, girl. Oh, girl. Yes, queen, yes. And then just drag it. And you, you want to make sure that um they're a bit um symmetrical. They'd never be quite, 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 quite symmetrical, but just a little bit swelling. Dip in again and just um fill in these parts. Ah uh -huh. Yes! So what we actually want to do now? Uh, 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 uh. Ooh, ooh. Hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Just clear off of it. And then take another, another concealer brush, and we'll be dipping into mosh. Ooh, what's this color? I don't know this color. But this white color, and we will be using it to um bake our crease. And what you actually want to do is that you're going to pack this color right on the crease. Just, just to um, bake it, creating a foundation for our shimmer. <coughs> creating a foundation for our shimmer and just Bag, 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 bag. Mm. Ooh, bake those cookies. Got those cookies, honey. Mm, just bake. And after you're done baking, uh, we will be going in with our hello. This color is called hello, I think. Hello. It's me. I was wondering if I could all these years you like. To apply this color, so we'll be dipping in just a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit and then tap off the excess, and then we'll be applying this over our um, cut crease, just um, delicately ever so applying it. Yeah. Hmm. Tap, tap, and then apply. So guys, since we started our YouTube channel, me and Tavilogy, do tune in, we'll be doing a lot of things, who knows, surprise you along the way. Do subscribe, like, comment, and yeah, follow us on this journey. And then I'm just going to blend it, just drag it up. That's what I like to do, I like to blend and drag. Blend and drag, drag a bitch to filth, okay? Drag, drag. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Oh my God, I feel pretty already. Uh, and just drag. Ooh, girl. She don't really know how this is. And yeah, after you're done with that, you are going to come back in with your cola coca-cola tap and then just um you want to blend everything out like starting i like to start from here and it's just to to, to to blend everything out so that we avoid any harsh lines yeah smoke it up a bit uh. 
Am I doing a good job, you guys? I'm not doing a good job. Ooh, ooh, ooh! Okay. And just do that, do that. And that's just how we do it. That's the eyeshadow part. I will be giving this prestigious award to the other bitch. Thank you. Thank you, Slee. Uh, hi, guys. My name is CEO, and I will be shooting the foundation part. So I will be using this Yardley London foundation in the shade Caramel. So yeah, let's get to it. So I personally feel, oof, so I feel like with a good foundation, you can do so much with my brush. With a good foundation, you can do so, so, so much. You just have to apply it properly, you know? So yeah, what I personally advise is that you use, um, let me just use that. You use your brush to apply it onto your face so that you don't waste up product. As you can see, I've got pimples. Um, I've had like, um, I've got spots. I'm recovering from a breakout, you know, that time of the month. So yes, yep. So like I said, use your brush to apply it across your face face and uh, i'll be back when i'm done voila as you guys can see i have applied the foundation but it is a bit uneven that is where the power of a beauty blender comes in so i don't know if you guys can see it it's a bit dirty because i use it so yeah dab 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 until it looks like your own natural skin, darling. Mm -hmm. Just keep dabbing. It's going to come together. And you see, mine is full coverage. Well, medium to full coverage, if I must say, because my spots are all almost gone, but not really. But it is a great foundation. So yeah, I mean guys, some people are probably wondering why would you do makeup during lockdown? I mean guys, we still feel the need to look pretty even in lockdown. Like me, some days I just wake up, put on makeup just to look cute, you know, for the gram, create some content. Even if you're not an Instagram person or you don't like taking pictures, you just like looking pretty, you know? Yeah. Mm. And the blender is so so soft guys the importance of a clean beauty blender like just normalize normalize washing your beauty blenders yeah and that is it so i am done and i will be handing over the concealer to somebody else hello hi petals my name is Havali G, and i'm going to be doing a little thing called highlighting and contouring. Thank you, bitch. So let's go on. What I'm gonna use is the Soft Beige City Girl Cosmetics um, Soft Beige Foundation. It's not mattifying, it's not mattifying, and also it's just a normal foundation, I guess. You know, I use it as concealer, I use it, I use it to highlight my parts. So I'm gonna show you how I myself highlight and also contour my face. So I'm going to start off with applying this little amount right here let me look into my mirror oh my god yeah. you cannot have a conversation with Alyssa if you're in proximity to a mirror even if like ed mcmahon had risen from the dead presenting her with a three hundred thousand dollar check she'd be like one second one second this like amount right here What the key, like the key, like to do this is because the reason why we're doing this is to pull our face a little bit more forward and give our face some highlights to not have a foundation that's like even like one tone. Because yes, we do want to have an even tone skin. Yes, I agree. But 
naturally your skin does not have one shade all over you know some parts that are darker and also some parts that are very light in shade you know so we're trying to highlight the parts that need to be lighter to give you like that feminine beautiful face not saying that people who don't have these features are not beautiful but girl this is how makeup is applied and the reason why I'm like looking up to the to the ceiling, um, if I may, is because I'm trying to get into the wrinkles, honey. Because I have the wrinkles around my eyes. So I'm highlighting, pulling my... Look at the difference. Look at this and look at that. Because this face is pulled. We're trying to make everything look as if it's pulled. Make sure that when you pull it upwards, you pull it in a... In a what can I say? A, a, ooh, what's this word, guide? We put it in a in a way that's yeah, a faded way, so that it doesn't get too harsh on the outer parts of your face. You know, we're trying to focus the product mainly around the eye, the under eye. You know, look at me, I'm blending it beneath my eye. You know, and then add some a little bit on the side of the nose because we're going to contour the nose and make it a little bit look a bit more defined later on during the video so I'm using this product to give my face some dimension and then here you notice that like um, the the perfect like, not that I'm perfectionist or anything but the woman the usual woman to like have have um, the journey from your lip to the nose must be very small but we're highlighting this because we want to give our cupid bow a little bit of dimension and the cupid's boy is this part right here you know like the rihanna part and then we're going to our forehead did you notice how if you notice like female foreheads mostly female foreheads have this um smoothness to their um, forehead and also that they have this dimension pulled forward and my 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 since i'm male my forehead is a bit flat so i'm trying to give you that effect that um my face is a bit pulled forward you know so we're trying to do that right now. But you should not, you should try to keep it in one space because you don't want to like look, oh my God, uh, you don't want to look like you have a big ass forehead, you know? Look at that, look, 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 There you go. But we should blend a little bit more. And then it's properly blended. Okay, with me, I do not. I don't normally use um, your cream cream contour, but I'm going to use it because I'm filming this for you guys. So I'm going to use the Dip Rich Foundation. That uh, not the Dip Rich Foundation. The Color is Limited Foundation in the shade Dip Rich. It gets deep in the DM, down in the DM. I think down, 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 down. Look, it's so dark. It's way way darker than my skin it's almost the shade of my neck because me as a melonic baby i have a different um a different shade to my face than not to my look at that we're trying to put everything look at that it's so dark you see and then we try and apply this side too oh my god my hair is getting in the way you know and then some people like myself try to decrease the size of the look at look at my forehead i have that rihanna forehead so we're trying to blend this hair because we're trying to pull our forehead a little bit more down with the highlight it doesn't look as defined on camera but you know i am trying to have like make myself have a, um, a smaller forehead using makeup and also like this hat right here and then we're going to chisel our jawline using the like um, the darker foundation again i'm using the colors limited um to bridge foundation it's deep 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 dark 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 you know you see now that i'm i'm not blending into my natural um cheek line cheek Online because I am trying to give me that uh, myself that uh, feminine cheap cheekbones because when I'm doing makeup I'm trying to look a bit more feminine you know 
And then I'm going to into my powders, you know. What I'm going to do with my powders is, is that I'm going to use the Average Lane, the brand new one. The um, Average Lane, the Average Lane Coppelia Color Foundation Wet and Dry Powder Foundation. It's brand new, I haven't used it, uh, you know, so you have to understand. The packaging, you guys. The packaging, look. The packaging, you guys. So I'm going to, oh my god, bitch, open. Oh my lord. This, this is the way that it looks. It looks like this. It looks like that. It's, it still has a plastic on this, like, what you call So I'm going to take this foundation and pack it on where I highlighted my face before. You know? I'm not gonna bake and stuff because the baking step is up. To the next bitch! See? Now that I have powder on my face, it looks though as if this one is uh, shiny, this one is mattified, and it's also pulled forward. So that's the illusion I'm trying to show you guys, you know? Again, we are pulling this outwards in a way, in a faded like type of shade I may, if I may. I'm using, if you notice, I'm using a damp sponge. Oof, you cannot notice that, but I'm using a damp sponge to try and make the coverage a little bit more, you know, defined. And then I'm going into my forehead to And to on the bridge of my nose. Then what's next for me is to contour my. Oh, I don't. Oh my God, the powder of my my cheekbones. Okay, I'm going on to the. Um, I'm going to go on to the um, the contouring of the. the, the ah, shut up. The darkening parts of my my face. You know. So for this part, I'm going to be using the Miss Signature Eye Quads. I'm gonna use this shade right here because it's very pigmented and it's this the perfect shade for my contouring, like my contouring step, you know. So I'm going to use that with this brush right here. It's also for Miss Signature. It's a very fluffy brush. I think it comes at a price of like 45 rands, I'm not sure. So I'm gonna contour. You see now my face is a bit defined. Look at the difference, look at that, and look at that. It looks as if it's contoured because I have that defined bone, darling. Oh, these braids, misbehaving braids. You know, I'm going to go onto my forehead too, just to give it that small forehead effect. And then I'm going to go on my my jawline, you know. Uh, okay, if you are, if you're wondering, I have yellow, orange, and pink on my eyeshadow, you know. I don't think it's very visible on the screen, but I do have those shades. Now that I'm done, I'm done with my. Oh, I'm not done. You, I'm not done. I have to do. I have to do the nose too. So what I'm going to do on the nose, I'm going to take a flat brush that is like used for um, nose contour. I I use for nose contour thing. And I'm going to take this um, still the eye quad from Miss Signature. I'm going to use this flat brush. I think it's it is for nose contouring. I don't know how much this thing retails for, but it is a number four eye quad from Miss Signature. It's a very pigmented little palette. So I'm going to take this and look at the, the way I'm doing it right now. Look at that. Look at this side and look at that side. This side is much more defined up because I try. I used the pig, like, pigmented um, brown shade that I'm going to use on this side too. Like, look at my nose now, it's much more defined. 
And that is the finished look, you guys. I contoured and I highlighted. So, bitch, it's up to you now, wherever you are. So, bye, petals. Hey, snacks. My name is Soleto M, and I will be taking you the process of contouring and highlighting. So, I will first go in with my Essence Darkening Makeup Drops and pretend as if it's my contour palette or contour liquid whatsoever so i will just dab in a bit with my brush that i got from fushini so i'll just contour the high and point of my cheeks on both sides and onto my forehead just focusing on those areas and then the second thing i will do is take my brush so that I got from this Kim. Ooh, I broke there. And go into my James Charles palette. You know me and Hex, guys. <laughs> I'll go in with my James Charles palette and dab in to the color Cune and make it as my powder. So after I'm finished with that, I'll also go in my James Charles palette. Guys, I think you should have this palette because it really is the big deal. I mean, you could use a lot of um, pigments right here or colors that you can um, use, you know. And then for my highlighting, I will go in with the shade Face. And it's more like a, a real highlighter, actually. So here it's just mixed with nude shades and um, the ones that are glittery. So yeah, that's it from me. I'll just pass the brush onto someone else but thank you so much for listening i hope that was helpful bye guys two hours later go look at us get up in the mirror girl this is a really good picture okay okay <laughs>